A defining characteristic of any vector shape is the ability to fill it with color, gradient, or pattern. Photoshop CS6 has been greatly improved in this area. And I'll go ahead and drag out a custom shape layer. And you can see by default, the path that defines this shape is not filled. If we go to the options bar, there's a fill pop-up menu. And when we click this, you can see we have three different modes to work in. We have color, gradient, or pattern. Let's try color first. All we need to do to fill this with color is just choose from one of the preset swatches. If you want a custom color, click on the color icon near the top right portion of the panel. This opens the Photoshop color picker, and from there, you can choose any color you want, and the fill color will change. If we go to gradients, we have many options here as well. So again, we can click on a gradient to apply it, and we have many customization options. We can choose where the color transition points are. We can decide whether the gradient is linear, radial, or some other type. We can scale the gradient, and we can even align the effect within the boundaries of the layer. We can also choose other types of gradient presets to be loaded here using the pop-up menu. We also have a pattern option where we just select the pattern to have it filled in there. And again, we can scale the pattern any way that we like. So you can see there are many different ways to fill a vector shape layer in Photoshop, and it's very easy and very powerful. I think I'll jump back to one of our gradients and try that. 